Once we left North Dakota, we were headed towards Wisconsin and we had to make a stop at the Ball America in Minneapolis, Minnesota. We were blown away just by the sheer size of the mall, by the rides that were there, by the characters from Nickelodeon. I was afraid Callie would be scared of the Ninja Turtles, but she ended up liking them and even gave one of them a high five. Now, this wasn't a really long stay for us at the mall. We were just kind of passing through, picking up my mom in the airport there in Minneapolis, but we did have to check out uh, one of the largest malls in the world. While we didn't get to stay long in Minneapolis, we did enjoy our time at the Mall of America, and man, that joker is enormous with anything you could possibly want to do, eat, see, or ride. But on our travels home, we're kind of like a rolling stone that's not catching any moss. We've got to travel on, and now we're headed towards Wisconsin. All right, well, we can check another state off the list. We have made it to Wisconsin. Never been here before. Uh, going to be checking it out the next couple days. Uh, we're only going to be here a couple days. Uh, we plan on being here a little bit longer, uh, but it's just not going to work out for this trip. Uh, we're going to be here tonight and then tomorrow night. Uh, we're actually in Kewanee, Wisconsin, which is on Lake Michigan, which you can see Lake Michigan all around me. And also this really cool lighthouse is there, uh, which is pretty neat to check out. Um, we're going to be here, like I said, just a couple nights. Tomorrow we're going to be going to Green Bay and checking out Lambeau Field, which should be awesome. One of those fields I've always wanted to, to check out. Um, and then we're also going to be uh, touring a dairy factory tomorrow where they're making cheese. So we're going to have a, a kind of a, a packed schedule the next couple of days, but it should be fun. Uh, tonight we're in Kwani, which is a sleepy little uh, water town here, and it actually looks pretty cool. Um, wonderful houses on Lake Michigan. Never been to the Great Lakes at all before. Um, it's just way different than you see in Alabama. Alabama lakes, obviously you can see across pretty much all of them, but Lake Michigan, I mean, you can't see a shoreline anywhere back behind me. More like an ocean than it is a, uh, a lake, but um, happy to be in this area. Going to be checking it out the next couple of days before we start heading south towards Milwaukee. And look who we have back on the trip with us. Uh, found her walking on the side of the road in uh, Minneapolis there. So uh, actually we picked her up in the airport. She's gonna ride with us the last week uh, till we get back to Virginia. Callie is super excited to have Nana back in the car. Sydney is super excited to have Nana back in the car to alleviate <laughs> some of the, the stress and the uh, time consuming nature that is taking care of Callie while we're traveling. So we're glad to have Nana back with us. Well, while in Green Bay, you do have to do a tour of Lambeau Field. So we're going to check that out today. Even though I'm a Steelers fan, I keep doing all these tours of other uh, opposing stadiums, but at least not like the Bengals or the Browns or Ravens or somebody sorry like that. Um, but so far, just outside of the stadium is incredible. Inside this atrium is nice. Way more organized than Seattle had going. Seahawks had, I don't know, it wasn't like it was terrible or anything, but this is just so much nicer. So we're gonna check it out. We're gonna do a tour of Lambeau Field and uh, see what the Packers have to offer.
I could be a ninja warrior. So at, the, no, hang on. So at this place, there is a 40 yard dash that you can run. So Sydney, um, I've got my sundial out and Sydney is gonna run the 40. Go. All right, so at this Title Town place, they have a, a full-size field with field goal poles where you can kick. They have a kids' playground. It's all sitting right offside the stadium, and they also have a 40-yard dash. So, uh, Sydney ran a 7.51, so I'm hoping to beat a 7.51. Um, and I'm going to be really sad. I know it's going to be bad. I mean, I haven't ran this in forever, so, oh, God. This is Jeremy's Guide to Touchdown Celebration. Number one, the classic spike. <gasps> Number two, the break dance. The dunk. The worm. And last but not least, since we're in Title Town, the discount double check. So we went to the Renard's Cheese place, and they make fresh cheese every day. We wanted to do a factory tour, but we you have to do that like book it like a day in advance or something like that. So we got some cheddar cheese with che like cherry cheddar cheese so i guess there's cherries in it we tried it yeah we tried it it was pretty good and then we got some cream cheese and chives spread which she said was really good she told us to get that to grow in there and then we got some cherry butter we've tried apple butter and we love it we've tried strawberry butter and we loved it more than apple butter and this is cherry butter so we'll see if i just like it Cherries, I think, is like a huge thing around here. So everything we got was cherries. All right, what'd you get? I got some salt caramel fudge. <laughs> Which and, we tried. Um, Two-year-old cheddar. It's been aged two years in a wheel. Hey, that's like it was old as Cali. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> I got jelly. You can't see because it's all wrapped up. It's a uh, cherry jelly, and um, I got natural cheddar, cheddar cheese with cranberries. Oh, that's like yummy. ours with that's like ours that has cherries in it, but yours has cranberries. Oh, well. And I got smoked gouda because I like smoked gouda. Well, Have you had gouda before? Mm -hmm. oh, I've never had. So we got a bunch of cheese. We might not poop for a month or two, <laughs> but we love cheese. Callie loves cheese. They had all kinds of samples in there, so we sampled a bunch of cheese. The lady even went back and got us some different samples. We tried cheese curds, which sounds like cheese turds, and it's not much better than cheese turds. Um, I was not a fan. I mean, it didn't taste bad. Like, you chew it, and it's like squeaky, like the cheese is squeaky. It was just weird. Um, we didn't get any cheese curds because they're just not worth it because they just weren't very good. But they had all kinds of cheese samples in there. We tried some, I tried one that was a Monterey Jack with, um, Mon Monterey Jack Ranch with something like that. It was pretty good. Um, so we tried several cheeses, some we liked, some was kind of interesting, but we're gonna go eat all our cheese. So we'll see y'all later. All right, I'm trying the cream cheese and chive spread. I don't care if I don't poop until Jesus comes back. I can eat all of that. So Jeremy went inside and got this cherry drink thing. Well, 
does taste like medicine. Tastes like medicine. Carbonated medicine. So I kept drinking this because, I mean, we paid for it, so you can't just throw it away. Um, and it actually doesn't taste like medicine. I said it tastes like medicine because when Jeremy handed it to me, he said, oh, it's disgusting. It tastes like medicine. And so it kind of made me like brainwashed or something. But I kept drinking it and realized that it doesn't taste like medicine. It tastes like a cherry um, icy that you get at like a gas station and a melted one, obviously. And it's actually really good.